Good morning, viewers. This is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today we've got something, again, rather unusual. I've been looking through my unusual records, and I found a glass-based acetate. Yes, that's glass. Here we go. That's what it says. Pioneer record made for the film unit of the London Cooperative Society Limited Political Committee. And it's a Mr Neville talking about um, wartime shortages in the co-op. It's to accompany a film, I believe. The other side is called The Key to Happiness. We'll play that in a minute. War always means hardship on what is called the kitchen front. It upsets the normal methods of food production and it destroys transport facilities. Before the war, a vast fleet of ships brought to these shores the harvest of the world. What that really meant is only now appreciated when fruit is almost unobtainable. The officers of London Cooperative Society know full well the trials and tribulations of those who have to keep house in these days. We have striven unceasingly to secure supplies adequate to our membership. In September 1939 and the year following, we held big stocks. Our trade in the first 12 months of war was a million pounds greater than the previous year. The shortage of eggs has been a severe trial to you and to us. Before the war, the CWS alone imported something approaching 20 million eggs a month from countries now in enemy occupation. We were able to sell those eggs cheaper than English eggs. Imports of eggs are now very scarce but due largely to our persistent pressure on the Ministry, all will share equally in the supplies available. We shall continue to demand that all essential foods shall be rationed, and rationed before the scrambling catch-as-catch-can stage is reached. We agree with you that queuing for food is an abomination. Food queues are a menace to our war effort, and they must be abolished. Let us make no mistake about it. Until our cause issues in a righteous peace, the food problem is going to be difficult. We believe our people will understand, and they will bear all the hardships, but only if they feel that goods are being fairly distributed. The principal foods and clothing, footwear and coal, are sold by us at the same prices as elsewhere. The price is the same everywhere, but here is the difference. Since the war started, we have returned to our members in dividend no less than one and a quarter million pounds and we shall continue to pay whatever dividend is possible whilst maintaining standards we have ever to observe in the transaction of our business. The bombs have not blasted the reserves of the LCS. We are as sound as ever, and we look with confidence to the future. Our policy of complete rationing means greater satisfaction for all shoppers. Every registration placed with the society means more power to the cooperative movement. One last word. Registration at the LCS carries with it the government's guarantee of supplies of all rationed articles. Do your best. Well, there you go, viewers. He certainly told us, didn't he? We don't want any scrambling for eggs, do we? Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.